Hey there guys, Scotty B here, Rage Quit Replays, coming at you with a little tutorial video on uh, ships in Star Wars The Old Republic. So, right now I'm in the Imperial Fleet, and I'm standing next to the Bounty Hunter hangar door, which is going to take me to my ship. Uh, just so you guys know, you do get your ship around, I'd say, level between levels 12 and 16, generally, is when you get your ship. It just really depends on how quickly you progress through uh, your class's story. So, like me, I did a lot of side quests, and they would just get quests in bunches and go out and do them in general areas and then turn them in. And uh, I was really just focused on trying to get levels underneath my belt as quickly as possible to try to catch up with my bros. And I didn't get my ship until I think it was around 17 or 18, so I was a little bit late. When you do get your ship, you also get your second companion, as you see here. Uh, 2BR8 is my second companion, and we'll go ahead and just pull him out real quick That's so you guys can you see him. I'll send Mako away. I was just wondering what I could do to please you. <laughs> and I have my own personal droid, uh, and his basic abilities right now are just pretty much healing, and I have not put anything into him as far as items or anything like that. I use him strictly for running errands and for crafting and stuff like that. So let me go back to Mako Excellent. here. I was just wondering what I could do. I can send both of these guys to do my crafting. Right now I am doing armor mech and scavenging. Both of those go hand in hand. All the things that you can get from scavenging different uh, metals and compounds and stuff like that, you turn right around and you can use an armor mech. But there will be a video, a tutorial, coming out on some crafting here in the very near future. So keep an eye open for that. Also, Sloki is going to be doing a PvP video as well as a video on his ship. He is in the mid 40s right now I believe in this game so his ship is going to be a lot more advanced than mine guys so you're going to see that uh, what we got here going on so I'm going to go ahead and just go into the hangar and run out to my ship and now it's just me who can access this ship right now. It's not like anybody else can come out here. Um, once I enter this right here then boom it's my ship so you can see this is the bad boy right here. It's my first ship that I get. And I get it when I finish up my class quests on Drum and Kaos on the Sith side. And basically, once you're done with your story class quest, then or your class story, your class quest, anyway, my bad. Um, once you're done with those, then they're basically like, hey, we need you to go here, but if you want to, you're going to have to steal a ship. So and it's like, oh, okay, thanks for, thanks for that. Appreciate that. Uh, so you can see it's loading real quick here. You get the little cinematic that you're going into your ship, and that would be someone coming into vent. Hopefully, I don't come in this channel and start talking. Uh, anyway, so this is the ship, just a basic layout. Here's your companion right here. Even if you send him on a task, he is still always right there, and he's just annoying as crap, I believe. Um, my God someone's gonna get booted off this vent server so this is just the basics of it right here uh, back down here there is an escape pod never had to use it yet so I'm not sure how that's gonna roll here is a cargo hold which does link with uh, any any of your other cargo holds that are in the game so you can quickly access all your gear and stuff like that right there uh, all this other stuff down here is this meaningless uh, just you know just for looks basically you cannot interact with anything in here as of right now I don't know how that pans out later in the game but right now uh, it's just those few items on the bottom level that I showed you so this right here is your hollow terminal and what this does is uh, basically allow, allow you to communicate for I'm assuming some quests or just talking to people later down the line as far as NPCs and stuff like that I have not had uh, any use of this so far, so we'll see if that comes up here in the near future. Uh, it's never given me any type of call or anything like that telling me that I need to click on it. So I do apologize for the coughing in the background. My little daughter's sick and she's she's getting ready to go to bed, but she's not feeling too good. So let's all think good thoughts and hopefully she gets better here real soon. This right here is the flight deck. As you can see, uh, Mako, she's up here chilling, uh, staring off into the distance of the screen right here. I don't even see anything on that screen. I don't know what she's looking at right now. A bunch of red and white buttons. Maybe she's thinking of candy canes. But uh, this right here is the galaxy map. And I'll just bring this up real quick and let you guys see 
exactly where we can travel to now. Once uh, you get your ship, you have access to all these different areas right here. And if you highlight over them, uh, it's pretty much just bunched up into categories. Um, uh, you can see there's three places here, Belsavis, Hoth, and Tatooine are on the distant outer rim. So if I wanted to travel there, I would click there, and then I'd pick which area I want to go to. But we'll return back for right now. Uh, it does show me if I have quests in a specific area. You see it below Balmora. It breaks it down and shows me the quests that I have. So I can easily click on there and go there and do the quest here on Nar Shada. I also have a quest there, as you can see. And this shows me where I'm at right now. That I'm in this little uh, section of space right here. And nothing over here as far as uh, anything I need to go do right now. So, uh, for traveling, we'll get to that later. Um, I do want to show you guys real quick the actual ship upgrades that I have obtained. Uh, here is what they are right here. Um, you're starting off with your level 1 ship. Basically you get uh, level 1 or grade 1 upgrades. There's only 6 right now that I was able to pick up uh, from the vendor which I will show you guys in just a moment. But they are ship armor which increases my ship's toughness by 2000. Energy shield which is grade 1 also. It absorbs 150 damage. The shield regenerator regenerates 5 toughness per second so uh, the longer you're not taking damage your shield regenerate you're basically you're gonna get some shield back that's how that breaks down to. And this one right here is your beam charger it, your blasters deliver 40 damage per bolt for the grade one uh, it's basically just increasing the damage that you're able to output this blaster fires five shots per second so the beam generator is going to increase your attack speed this does your attack damage and the missile magazine is going to uh, hold 40 missiles now versus I believe the stock 20 it's either 16 or 20 I can't exactly remember but now I can hold 40 so basically I'm doubling the missiles I have and that's your high damage output you can lock on the targets and just kinda set it and forget it and shoot the missile out while you're hitting stuff with your your beam shots at the same time so real quick guys I'll show you where to get all these ship upgrades at so you know where to get them I just learned the other day and picked them all up they're relatively cheap so stand by just a second guys we'll be right back here we go guys we're back here and you can see where I'm at on the map I am on the Imperial fleet on the space dock and I'm over here in the galactic trade market the second little alcove on the left right here and you can see where I'm standing right next to is Ensign Brooks, who has Starship upgrades, so let's take a look and see what she has. Your money's always good here. I'm sure it is always good. So at, right off the bat, there's six you can buy that are level one. You can see uh, the level three are not available until level 26. So once I hit, oh, it looks like there's what 24, 26, 28. So it looks like it's going from 23 to 31. Between those levels, you'd be able to slowly uh, replace out all the grade one. And then you see all the gray five right here, which is looks like between level uh, 38 and 42. You'll be able to pick all those up. So what we picked up first, of course, was all the grade one, which they are between, you can see, level 14 and level 17. So I was 17 or 18 at the time when I got my ship, so I just bought them all at once and equipped them all. And you can see, Come again. Uh, there we go, there's my ship. And beforehand, basically, you know, just had no toughness. The rate of fire was really low. Uh, blaster damage was down to nothing. Shield regen, non existent. Absorption, not even there. Missiles were cut in half. So, uh, with the upgrades, I am, you know, slowly but surely increasing the effectiveness of my ship. And through the missions that you go through, it's going to help you put out more damage, take more damage, all that good stuff to be able to accomplish the mission that you can do. Now with the ship missions themselves they are dailies so every day what I would recommend is you log in and do your daily ship quest which I'm about to do. Uh, keep your eyes open guys for a video from Sloki coming out real soon he's gonna go over all your dailies for your ship and PvP and a basic just a general how-to on uh, the fastest way to leveling so keep your eyes open for that guys this has been Scott from Rage Quit Replays thanks for watching I'm out